in fact, in this country, many of the seniors there not wearing masks. I don't need to remind you that elderly people are at an increased risk of dying from coronavirus, something masks help prevent. Meanwhile, Joe Biden doing the exact opposite, laying out his uh, plan to combat the virus, including specifically wearing masks. Wearing a mask is not a political statement. It's a scientific imperative. Thank you. Biden wants mask mandates in all the states. The president, of course, actively encourages no mask wearing at his own rallies. And today, before the event in Florida, with the seniors wearing few masks, at the White House, Trump once again mocked a reporter for wearing a mask. This is Jeff Mason. He's got a mask on. That's the largest mask I think I've ever seen. <laughs> And while the president is painting a rosy picture tonight, here he is. We're going to quickly end this pandemic, this horrible plague that came in from China. You look at what's going on and we're rounding the turn. We're rounding the corner. We're rounding the corner beautifully. Biden sees things very differently. Last night, we saw the president of the United States lie to the American people and repeatedly lie about the state of this pandemic. We saw him refuse to take responsibility. If this is a success, what's a failure look like? We're more than eight months into this crisis and the president still doesn't have a plan. He's given up. He's quit on you. He's quit on your family. He's quit on America. Voters tonight have two polar opposite choices that became even clearer on that final debate stage last night. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter, and he has no clear plan. I have no plan. We're have a dark winter and at all. We're opening up our country. I say we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. I'm going to speak momentarily with the nation's top infectious disease doctor, Anthony Fauci. But first, I want to go to the two campaigns tonight. Arlette Sines is covering the Biden campaign. Caitlin Collins out front at the president's rally tonight at the Villages. Uh, let me start with you, Arlette, though. Vice President Biden today laying out new details of his plan to combat the virus. What did he say? Well, Aaron, it's very clear that Joe Biden is trying to keep the coronavirus pandemic front and center in these closing days of this campaign. The, the former vice president arguing that President Trump is ignoring the realities of the state of the pandemic right now in this country, and also arguing that the number of deaths due to COVID-19 show that the president is ill-equipped, that he didn't develop a sufficient plan. So what you heard from Joe Biden today in a speech in Wilmington, Delaware, was starting to lay out some of that strategy of what he would do in office if he's elected. Now, one of those things Biden said is he's not going to wait till he's in the White House to get started working on this pandemic. He said that during the transition, he would begin reaching out to governors, Republicans and Democrats to gauge what kind of resources they need to combat the pandemic. He also said that he would call on Congress to put a bill on his desk by the end of, end of January to provide the resources for public health and economic initiatives, a contrast to the current state of play in Washington right now as the Negotiations are tied up over that COVID relief bill. Biden also talked about the need for Americans to wear masks, saying that it's not a political statement, that it's something that people need to do to curb the spread of the virus and consider the other people that are around them. Biden has acknowledged that he can't implement a nationwide mask mandate, but he said he would go to the governors asking them to do so. And 